There's one team at A&M that sits atop their sports rankings. It's not football, it's not soccer, it's the Aggie Quidditch team, who are voted by other Quidditch muggles as the best team in all of the land by 8th Man Quidditch and the International Quidditch Association. The sport was started at Middlebury College in 2005 from the imaginary game played in the Harry Potter series and has since grown to field 300 teams across the country. All of the rules of the game are consistent with the book, except for the aspect of flying. The game is played with a semi-deflated volleyball, or quaffle, that one must shoot into a hoop to score. But while one tries to score, they must avoid being thrown out by one of the opposing beaters. People may think this is just a fairy tale sport, but it's more physically demanding than you could ever imagine. A lot of people think that we're just some kind of nerdy Harry Potter club, but we're actually like physically tackling each other. We get bruises and all sorts of injuries and we compete against other schools and it's a sport. Quidditch cannot also be tough physically, but it is a combination of many sports in one. The rugby. Basketball aspect with spreading the floor and the kind of movement that beaters do is a lot more like dodgeball. A&M has been quite competitive in the sport, recently winning the Wolfpack Classic in New Orleans. But that one dreaded school out west has been their biggest obstacle of a World Cup championship, losing to them this past April. This year's team still remembers that loss vividly, which reminds them to stay humble. We're pretty solidly considered number one now, but I don't really take it into account um, just because we're not number one until we win the World Cup in April. And with that championship mentality, look for the Yagi Quidditch team to soon be the best team in all of the land. Reporting from College Station, Mike McCoy, ABC 40 Sports. All right, get going, man, get going. Yeah, I got you wet. Yeah, I'll see.